But look, I made you some content. Isn't that how that song goes? Figure short videos are better than no videos, right? So, so far I've got this cheapy Amazon 20 amp circuit breaker. I'm gonna I have a contactor coming, another Amazon special. A lot of the stuff that I usually use, the Eaton stuff and whatever, that that's it's all on back order. So I'm kind of going with yeah, it's sketchy at best, I, I would assume, you know, Chinese specials, but hopefully, hopefully they uh they live up to their expectation. Got 24 volt supply, 5 volt supply for the power side of the for the uh for the Ethernet side and the logic side of the 7995. I got obviously the Safety relay, e-stop button that we're going to be playing with in the next couple of days, weeks, months. Uh, I was going to use this piece of MDF, but it doesn't look like I've really got the greatest options of how to position this stuff. And yes, cue the haters. Gonna burn my house down with a piece of MDF, blah, 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 blah. I don't think MDF is is that conductive that it's going to burst into flames in the in the event of a loose wire. But if you are worried about it, please contribute to my Patreon and help me buy a new cabinet for it. But <laughs> so that being said, I've got pretty much everything I need. Um, once I get that contactor in, come up come up with a final layout may not be this piece of MDF, maybe something else. I'll have to cut a bigger piece of wood or whatever. Um, I'm going to mount this all and then start wiring it up. And then we can play around with uh, with all of our little switches and hoodads and doodads. And then I'll have to find a home for this thing because these, these boards are not cheap. So to have it just sitting on a on a piece of wood or whatever is kind of... It's kind of sad, but I mean, I got all the power in the world with this thing, so I, I may have to uh, may have to look into making a large capital investment <laughs> and buy a nice piece of uh, machinery that I can tie that into. But stay tuned, and uh, just want to show you that I'm, I'm chugging along. It's just slow going at the moment. There's been a ton of back order items and things like that through the usual suspects. So once that all gets squared away, we can uh, move on to this. And I'm going to try to get some footage from a CNC build that's going on at my school. I just recently purchased, I don't even know how many <laughs> hundreds and hundreds of dollars of equipment. Um, I got servos coming from DMM. I've got you know uh, 24 volt supplies and... Got contactors, breakers, terminal blocks, you name it, pretty much I have it in a box or it's on its way here from the slow boat from China. So hopefully I can get some footage from those builds because it's going to be exciting. I'm, I'm building a ProLite benchtop mill with a couple of students and the students that I have seem really eager. So I was trying to get everything pushed through as quickly as I could and I finally got all the budgetary stuff cleared away and they put me into the system as a vendor and I was able to order everything. So it's only been a couple of weeks since we pulled the, uh, the machine apart. So hopefully the momentum is still there and hopefully these, uh, these kids are as eager to get that thing running as I am because future projects will consist of a Fidel VMC that's just sitting there collecting dust that I would just love to rip into and get these kids some exposure to real-world repair work and stuff like that. So stay tuned. There's going to be some exciting stuff coming up soon.